Today we are going to introduce, The Secret of Leadership is a book written by Prakash Iyer. In this book he compares the leaders with a tea bag and gives eight reasons for that. Those eight reasons are interesting. First, however a tea bag is beautiful, what important is, the quality of the tea inside it is to the taste of the tea, as well as the confidence and attitude that the leaders may have inside them rather than their outward appearance. Second, the true taste of tea can only be obtained by pouring it into hot water. As such, the characteristics of a noble leader will only emerge in difficult times. Third, those who can be the best leader will face challenges relentlessly. Good tea is obtained by dipping the tea bag in hot water. As such, a leader can retain the position of leader only if he or she faces a variety of challenges. He has given 60 short essays in 250 pages on many things that he has encountered, read, experienced and felt in his life. The author, who heads the multinational company Kimberly Clark, has already published a book, The Habit of Winning, a few years ago. If you want to be a good leader, you must do research and have a PhD. So you can ask, can everyone get a PhD? And could seem a ridiculous. But author elaborate PhD is passion, hunger, discipline. If anyone have this, he is irresistible to achieve anything. If you want to call a man a street sweeper, he should clean the street with great effort as much as Michelangelo did an effort to paint. Those who see it should say, here's a great street sweeper, look at how much effort he has put in his job. Everything is in the view how we see it. If you think something is a problem then it has to be a problem. If you think that someone is rude, he will look rude even if he is good. So, we have to change our view. There can be more than one solution to any problem. They may even contradict each other. Choose what works best for you or the situation and act accordingly. The author of this book is an avid cricket fan, from time to time the leadership traits of cricket legends shows throughout the book. Ricky Ponting was the captain of the Australian team, he did not miss the opportunity, even it is a small. If he gets a small gap, he will take a run. Thought of thinking gaps between fielders is an opportunity instead of thinking fielders as a barrier, is sure to succeed. Abraham Lincoln, hailed as America's greatest president, has seen many failures. He wanted to join law college but did not pass. He took a loan to do business but he filed bankrupt because it did not work properly. He was fired from the job. He lost eight different elections. But he didn't give up his efforts. Every time he met the fail, he increased his effort as well. Finally, he became president of the United States. Be humble without thinking of titles and positions and everything will work for you. Words should be handled with care, even when angry. If the words come out strong, it will cause permanent scarring. The author emphasizes that this is an important point for leaders to keep in mind. No one is born as a leader at birth, they are created, or, are being created. According to the author, everyone is a leader because everyone is leading their life. The author ends the book with quotes of John Maxwell, The unbeliever will criticize the wind, the believer expects change, the captain adjusts the mast of the ship and continues to sail. Anyone who reads this book can become the leader because it tells the secret of leadership. I just brought a drop of the water from the ocean, you can learn many things while going through the ocean of book. This is the short summary of The Secrets of Leadership. Thanks for watching, if you like this video, please subscribe and give a thumbs up and share with your friends.